So here in the good old state of Delaware, they stock trout in the springtime and the fall. Their fall stocking is kind of like a surprise mystery drop, but that was actually like a little bit over a week ago now. Oh, as y'all know, I recently got back here. I caught word of this, but the thing is this year is that like after they stocked the trout, it dumped. Like mother nature decided to take a big freaking dump on the whole state. It has been raining like really hard and like a lot of water too. So what that kind of does is like when they stock the fish, some fish kind of hang out and some kind of go downstream. When it gets like super turbulent and uh, the water levels rise, that pushes a lot of these trout downstream. That forces them to find little eddies they could chill out in, uh, little spillways, or just different areas of the creek. So these fish kind of, they're just all spread out everywhere after big rains like that. Depending on who you are, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go check the water levels here. We're gonna give it a shot, man. It's been a little while since they've stocked them, but I am kind of theorizing that uh, there could be fish pretty much everywhere, but they might be a little bit harder to find. Real quick, like before we actually do anything, I'm gonna grab uh, one lure. We're gonna head down to this spot. We're gonna go check it out and we might be driving around a little bit. Also, it is supposed to rain. Mother Nature might take a dump on us today. So, I don't know, man. Let's get over here. Back in Delaware, some good trout fishing. See what happens. All right, game time. So, I just talked to a really, really, really nice guy. He said he watches the videos. I didn't get your name but shout out to you thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me and stuff he was actually fishing out here um i guess he fished a couple spots this morning but he showed me he got a nice fish out of here man a beautiful freaking rainbow he's using some worms that tells me that my suspicion is kind of correct uh because they don't stock oh that that's interesting yeah there was not that much dirt there huh but they don't stock fish down here so that means from all this rain and stuff that fish got pushed down. Oh, there's, yeah, this is a lot shallower than I thought it would be. He said he caught some sunfish and I think he said smallmouth as well. That is a rock on a piece of plastic. Very interesting. All right. So what we got here, you guys have seen me fish here before a little while ago. We were back in Delaware, but this is just a nice little spillway, man. So they stocked the trout pretty decently far up that way from the spot, but yeah, no, yeah, there was not this many freaking stones and stuff here. All right. Kind of cast a spin around. There are a ton of freaking leaves though. Let me show you guys what we're using real quick. This is a Blue Fox number one size spinner. This is just a gold one. I remember hearing somewhere uh, on cloudy days to use a gold lure. And on clear days to use a uh, silver kind of lure. Let me know if any of y'all can attest to that. But I kind of just want to come down here and throw this a little bit. I just want to see what's going on. By the way, too, we have uh, some pretty interesting baits we're going to be testing later on. I kind of want to get a better angle here, but this will have to do. So as I was kind of saying, the water levels will push these fish down to somewhere like here and they'll just kind of hang out because a spillway like this it's a little bit deeper and they can kind of chill out from like over here in this area where it's a little bit calmer from the crazy turbulent water but also when they're hungry and they want to feed they can just perch up upstream uh, right after these rapids or in the rapids actually and just wait for stuff to come over the spillway especially when stuff rains like that i mean think about how much worms is that a what the heck was that? That's a leaf. <laughs> oh, that's a nice freaking leaf right there, man. We were actually identifying leaves on our road trip. That's like some kind of maple leaf, right? Don't remember. We had this little like leaf book. Cool stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, rain and stuff and spoys and stuff. Hopefully, yeah, fish. Might be a little tough because we're fishing right after him. And he was using night crawlers too, which is kind of the superior bait. Um, especially in these conditions. We'll see if they want to hit something moving, if there's anything. The goal today, I think, is just try to catch a fish. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've uh, done some good old Delaware trout fishing. The last couple times they stocked it, I just haven't even been in the state. You know, we, we live on the RV now and just have been going to so many different places. So goal number one, catch fish. Goal number two, you guys will see later. <laughs> I could be doing something pretty freaking interesting. I I hope it's gonna work. I don't know if I mentioned this today or not. It is like freaking cold, dude. We're under this like tunnel right now. It is windy. It is nippy. This actually looks pretty good right here too. There's like another 
like there's like little so that's the spillway right there and there's like a smaller spillway then down there there's some turbulent water that goes into uh some more still stuff it's kind of like textbook fishing that is a snag please no ah okay that might not be the worst thing in the run i was starting to think a spinner hello ow freak you just slapped on my hand dude. <laughs> sounded like the rod snap but it was just my line but uh yeah with all this stuff in the water let me show you guys i don't even know if you can really see it but it's just like leaf city around here that probably is not gonna do it all right hold on let's go back to the car real quick all right man so look some of y'all are gonna call me crazy and uh probably rightly so basically for a couple years now i've had this theory so probably one of the top, or if not the top fishing bait for stock trout fishing is power bait. Now there are dope baits, kind of like this, and uh, there are also, I have them in my pocket, these little egg baits that are kind of like that, if you can see them right there. I fished with these before in uh, videos and stuff. Let me break this down real quick. So these fish that they stock are farm raised and they feed them little pellets. So that's why a lot of people fish for them with this power bait, because they, ball them up to look like little pellets or they just use the eggs and uh, these fish just think they're getting fed, you know, kind of like hatchery style food. I mean, that's what they're used to, right? It kind of makes sense. Especially this color right here. This is, uh, you can ball this up. This is actually hatchery pellet style trout power bait. So a couple years ago, I got to thinking, right? If that's just like a little circular ball, sometimes they have scent, which definitely attracts fish more like garlic or other stuff. If they like balls, like they want to eat some balls, right? And they're brown balls too at that. Why can't we catch some stocked trout on some cereal? So, a couple years ago, I actually tried this. this store picked up some Reese's Puffs. I was trying it in a pond, though, and the pond fishing in Delaware, where trout is, stocked trout, is kind of weird. So, today, we're going to be doing it, man. We're going to take this down there. I'll show you guys the setup. But yeah, man, it's been so long since I've had these. And we didn't just bring these. We also picked up. Now, there's uh, a lot of people that say stocked trout and just trout in general will eat Marshmallows, so this is actually one of my favorite cereals. This might be my favorite cereal. Let me know what yours is down in the comments below, but just something about the charms, man. But we brought these as well. I understand that probably both of these might disintegrate if they're on the hook for a little bit and get like kind of soggy and stuff. We'll get around that. I got something up my sleeve, but uh, yeah, man, trout fishing with cereal, can it be done? We're gonna go test it out. Ooh, it's getting darker out here, man. Not gonna lie, if this works, this might be one of my biggest accomplishments. <laughs> The thing is too, so I know a lot of people fish for uh, stock trout, especially with a bunch of interesting stuff. As I kind of mentioned, the marshmallows. I know some people use uh, cheese. I, I know a lot of old guys I talked to down at the creeks used to say, oh, Velveeta cheese used to slay them, stuff like that. I have not once heard anybody ever say, yeah, dude, the freaking Reese's Puffs, <laughs> the cereal. You gotta get you some cereal. Oh boy, I feel like it's about to literally dump on us. So, let me show you the rig. We have just four pound of fluoro. By the way, this is the Luz uh, Mach Light Speed Stick. You guys see me use this a lot. It's just like an ultralight rod. And I said four pound fluoro. We have two split shots on here. Might need to put one more because it's just so turbulent. And then down here, we have a size 12 hook. Very, very, very tiny. I don't want to destroy all my Reese's Puffs, so I got them in a little baggie right here. Can you just, like, look at that, man? Eat them up, eat them up. We're gonna go, let's go with the darker one. Look at that right there, man. And think about them, like this thing probably will float in like the middle of the water column too, <laughs> just for like a, even a little bit. I know it might get soggy and kind of break off after like maybe a couple minutes, but this should be in the strike zone and we should have the possibility of getting bit. So, there's kind of like a little whirlpool kind of thing right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna kind of cast it into that, let this thing swirl around down there. I'm telling you, if this thing gets bit, I'm going to freak out. That is gonna be the best thing ever. Now again, we got all that just debris down there, so we'll have to fight through that. All these leaves, the fall foliage. It's kind of stuck on a leaf right there. All right, there we go. Who's texting me, man? I'm trying to fish with the freaking cereal. Oh, oh dude. Was I on a leaf or was that a fish? Dude. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I had a freaking fish on there. What was that? You guys saw it. We're not going to cut any of that. I had a fish on that. What the heck? Was that a trout? I thought I just had a leaf. Dude, the freaking puffs. Um, okay, let's go with this one. The thing is, too, they got like a nice sugar coating on them, too. So they might... I don't know. Oh, we're not going to talk science. We're going to make this happen, dude. All right. Come on, man. The freaking puffs. I mean, that could have been any kind of fish, but do I really care right now? It is fall time and it is cereal time. Come on, come back for it if that was a fish. No, that was 100% a fish. Oh my gosh. That was crazy, dude. Come on. It's spots like this, too, that are just so, like, relaxing to chill at, you know, with the sounds of the water coming out. All right, so we actually set a rod down. I don't know if you can see that little stick. I think the previous guy left. Oh no, our puffs. The nice thing about fishing with stuff like this, man, a nice little snack. We get to eat, the fish get to eat. It's a good day, dude. I'm surprised at how long these Reese's actually are lasting on there. I just casted this one back out, but I thought that they would like deteriorate a lot faster. I don't know. Dude, I just got actually, yo, imagine how many freaking Reese's puffs do you think it would take to dump into this freaking water to make it like, like you know, after you fill your whole bowl up with milk and pour the Reese's puffs in it out, it gets like that chocolatey-ness. How many boxers do you think it would take Imagine making this giant section just one big chocolate water, dude. Not saying it'd be good for the fish, but that'd be an interesting science. Oh my, any day now. I know there's at least one more trout in this water right here. There's no way that guy caught the only one. All right, I didn't think that we were gonna do this today, but I think we we're gonna do this today. So I'm driving to a uh, spot that's down, or I guess it's up the creek a little bit. I just checked out another spot. I think we're gonna send it, man. We're gonna throw on the waders, which are wet. <laughs> so that's that, that's a thing. It's pretty freaking cold out here today and windy. It's supposed to rain like crazy, but we're just gonna send it, man. I think if any spot is gonna have some fish, this one's as good as any. So as I was getting my waders on here, we came to a new spot. I just kind of realized how all over the place my freaking life is. So our waders have holes in them. That's the thing. It is super windy, by the way. Oh my gosh, you see that? Those leaves are going crazy. But uh, yeah, waders have holes in them. So we're wet, it's chilly out here. Also, uh, I still, as you guys know, I had two pairs of sunglasses. I lost them on the road trip. <laughs> These came with the fishing kit we did a while ago. Still rocking these guys, the only polarized shades we have. Honestly, I can't complain. Look at, like look at this. It's a freaking fall wonderland out here. We're about to go to where it pretty much all started. Uh, my whole love for fishing. I talk about it all the time I go here, but we're gonna get out there. Hopefully we can catch a fish. It looks like we're the only freaking one in this whole spot, so that's cool, but. Does anybody else ever feel like that? Like my life just needs some uh, gentle organization. Maybe we'll work on that later today. Wow, them trees are dancing. Yeah, bro, I'm not even <laughs> After I just talked to you guys about not being organized, I can't find my pliers, dude. I don't know if I left them at that last spot, but we got some other pliers that I had to find hidden within my stuff. But look at this trail, it's like so fall, so leafy. I actually talked to somebody right when I got up to this spot, they were leaving, they said that uh, they caught two smallmouth and I think they lost a the trout. This is gonna be another like spillway type thing where I think that if there are some fish that got washed down, they probably chilled out here. It is starting to drizzle a little bit too, so it might get a little soggy out here. I was thinking though, it's funny how like on this road trip that we've been on, 
I mean, we've been in all these different states, the mountainous states, stuff like that. Like, there's bears and all, all kinds of stuff that'll eat you. And when I come back to Delaware, it's like, like, I don't know, it's just weird, like, being from here. And not that many things will, you know, they'll actually eat you, I feel like. I really don't know anything. I, I, I feel like my biggest fear is either ticks or, uh, like, some brown recluse spiders or something. We don't, we don't got some vicious predators out here. Definitely don't need to be on your toes as much. Whew. Yeah, I think it's gonna like storm storm today. We gotta catch a fish before it happens. Huh. Clear too. Wow, look at that. Clear, not that many leaves out there. Kinda low. Was not expecting that. Ooh, ooh. all right. Let's get rigged up here. We're gonna cast that right there. There's like a drop off of rocks right there and it just kind of goes out more towards that way. So we're just gonna let the uh, current take this down. And hopefully some trout are looking up towards this current because that's the main one that kind of goes that way. And I'm hungry for a worm. We'll see, man. I just wanna catch a fish. My pants are also like falling down inside my wader. That's one of the more, like honestly, when I'm out fishing, not much annoys me, but that, <laughs> when my pants fall down inside of my waders, oh my gosh, don't even get me started. All right, we're gonna reel this back in. I don't know, should I take that split shot off? Cast out there, we'll see here at this cast. You want it to be drifting down the creek kind of naturally, but you also want it to get down to the bottom, sort of. Oh, this might actually work, this should be good. Wow, look at all these leaves. That's so cool looking. All right, we're gonna cast this out. I mean, we're pretty much just fan casting here. I'm gonna bomb it that way. Let's see. I know for a fact, there's at least one trout in here. Just gotta figure out what that one fish wants. There's probably more, but I know this fish here. All right, we're trying something else out. So this is, I think this is chartreuse color, let me see. I think, maybe. Because the worm didn't seem to be working too good. And then also, we, uh, that's not very good on there. There we go. And then also, we're only gonna be running one split shot and see how that works. Let's just give it a shot. You never know, you know? So, that was not a good cast. So, we've had a few uh, break-offs, but break-offs are like break-ups, right? Sometimes they're not easy, but maybe we learn from them. <laughs> so I'm kind of figuring out where the rocks are now, because creeks and rivers and stuff are always changing, but I just, I don't know, man. There's gotta be fish in here, right? There's somebody else fishing over here now, too. Delaware is weird when it comes to trout uh, fishing and stocking. Especially when it rains like that, but uh, like right when they stock it, like it almost like a lot of these areas just get fished out so freaking fast. Uh, so if you're not there like the day of or the next couple days after, like a most like a lot of the fish are gone. And I'm not saying that's an excuse, but <laughs> it's been like over a week, so maybe that happened. But also the rain definitely dispersed them. It's starting to rain on and off here, but it just stopped again. It was going pretty, like I got pretty soggy. Let's try over this way. Got several falls to target. This is actually how you're supposed to be fishing too. <laughs> With the bait coming back towards you. Oh, I'm getting bit. I got fish. I got fish. I got fish. Dude. Dude, 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 that's a good one. That's actually a good one. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Dude. Please tell me I'm recording. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Okay, I got the net. Relax, 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 relax. First dollar fish, uh, trout, I mean, in a long time. Oh, this is not getting played well. Oh gosh, he's got a leaf on him. Dude. 
It's got some energy. Oh, a bunch of people just came over here. Please, 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 please. Come on, we're just friends. I'll let you go right away. Oh, let's go, dude. All right, we're gonna take him over here, release him. <sighs> that is all I wanted today, man. Look at that. Beautiful freaking rainbow trout right there. Let's see how far he swallowed that. Well, it's not too bad. All right, let's get him out of here and get him back in the water. All right, that is an absolutely gorgeous, I mean, that's a good size too for Delaware. Look how beautiful that freaking fish is right there, man. I can barely talk, I'm so freaking happy right now. All right. There he goes. Got to tie a new hook on. Okay, so there are fish here, and my reel is soaked. Holy, that was the one split shot method. By the way, do these hooks that I'm using, these are size 12, these are nymph hooks. <laughs> these are actually for fly fishing. I uh, couldn't find tiny hooks one time, and I actually went in the fly section, and I found these. I also like got like some really tiny ones. They have like size 16 and like really, really small ones. All right. Let's get this back in here. Now, because this isn't really my way to, favorite way to trout fish, um, and also I'm not keeping these fish at the moment, we're gonna switch it up. Black marabou jigs have been good for me in this creek for trout fishing, especially this part of the creek. We'll give it a shot, man. I, I literally, I don't know where all my stuff is. I had the good size marabou jigs. Oh, I see a little bait fish right there. Oh, there's a couple. Oh, there's a whole squad of them. Holy crap. But yeah, I had different trout worms that I wanted to use. I had a bunch of stuff. My day has like already been made. I, I said I just wanted to catch one fish. That, oh, that felt so good. Like we caught a pipsqueak either. Like that was a freaking fat stock trout. I don't know where they stocked it. They could have stocked it way up there. They could have stocked it in here. Again, I don't know if they stocked that, but we're gonna go uh, to a different spot. And this might be the last spot of the day, but see how it's going. Maybe catch another one like that. Maybe catch one even more fat. That one's auntie's mama. All right, let's take a look. Wow, look at all the leaves. A lot of freaking leaves, holy. Let's see if we can see anything up on this bridge. It's starting to pour out here. So many leaves. Learned on my fly fishing adventures out in the Midwest is where there's a, like a big compilation of leaves, that could actually be a good place to fish because that's where all the debris is getting pushed. So if there's any bugs or worms that could kind of get balled up and pushed around with all these leaves and stuff. So maybe that's a good place to fish. I'm just gonna stay here for a second and see if I see anything. Whew, all right, well, I'm glad I got out here when I did. There's a lot more people seem to be coming out and fishing right now. It's kind of like midday-ish, sort of-ish. It is actually supposed to start like storming right about now through the end of today and then also tomorrow so i'm glad i got here when i did so that like it's not super raging water and all the fish just get pushed all around again i don't know maybe that would have been better i don't freaking know dude it was a battle definitely let me know though if you guys have ever used like what's the crazy thing you use for trout fishing i want to catch a fish i think i swear we hooked something on one of those first casts um but i want to catch a fish on some freaking cereal it's gonna happen Leave a thumbs up if you guys want to see that. Also, uh, leave a comment down below. I'm going to start doing this thing that I used to do um, like years ago where uh, if you leave a comment, I'll pick one of you guys and put you at the end of the next video. I'll kind of flash you up on the screen like comment of the day sort of thing. I don't, I don't like to call it that. I feel like sometimes that YouTube stuff gets annoying like, oh, smash like, uh, subscribe and stuff. Comment of the day. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll try to find a cool name for it. But I used to do that years ago. I want to get back to it and I want to start giving back to you guys a lot more. We've been doing some giveaways and stuff, but yeah. Let me know if you guys want to see more trout fishing as well. I don't know if we'll do it around Delaware, but I know New Jersey um, and some other states around me have some really cool trout fishing. I mean, we'll probably do it more in Delaware, but as you can see, it's not like on fire. I'm just happy. We're doing a lot of different types of fishing, bass, striped bass, trout. If you guys have been watching the videos, I've been having a lot of fun in Delaware and uh, 
yeah man let me know what other kind of videos you guys want to see all i gotta say man is let's keep this rolling thank you guys for watching see you next video